Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another video. So season nine of Battlegrounds has finally concluded. And this was the precursor before the big season, season 10, which top eight qualify for the first ever in-person Battlegrounds tournaments. You know, this season I wanted to get in some good reps and uh, I went super duper hard at the very beginning of the season. You can see here, this was not even a full week into the season. And I was almost at 300 points already. Um, and at this point, I was in Celestial 4. I was actually in Celestial 3 as well a couple days prior. The, the, I'd never been in Celestial 3 before. It was before the leaderboard was even active. But, you know, it still counts for sure. Uh, you might be thinking, well, there's not a lot of people in Gladiator Circuit. True, but think about that. There's not a lot of people in the Gladiator Circuit within the first week. But the people that are, are sweaty tryhards. Myself included. So it's still i'm still proud of myself bro and, and and just the fact that i could get into celestial four that, that means i know i can do it next season when it really matters and at the end uh, so that was just a big confidence booster i went super hard at the start of this season and kind of chilled towards the end i was also i much preferred the the initial meta uh the unstoppable meta i i literally felt just unstoppable in that meta i, I felt so good in it um in the other meta i was all right but you know not not a, not as dominant or as confident but uh, yeah so i really really fast and hefty start to the season then i kind of chilled uh towards the end we did still get uh you know in a, in a good spot some good rewards still a lot of really good practice uh i probably played the most matches ever last season and and the crazy part of that is i probably played more friendlies than actual ranked matches um <laughs> but hey man practice is practice and uh yeah I'm, uh, and it's gonna kind of be the opposite for next season i, I actually so it kind of sucks i thought that i got back on the 11th uh from my camping trip but i actually leave on the 11th and i get back on the 16th so i'm gonna be here for the first two days of the next battleground season so those very first the very first day i'm gonna try to get into the gladiator circuit and then the second day I'm gonna try to get like 100 points or something um just so i can kind of get a bit of a, a head start right away so i can you know i can leave and then by the time i come back i mean that head start's not gonna last very long we're gonna be behind by that time but we'll just have to make it back and that's fine uh it makes things a little bit trickier but again it's fine and the first two weeks aren't nearly as important like i'm i'm fairly confident like even if i had zero points going into the final two weeks if i just started grinding my butt off eight hours every day I could still i could still do it and that's what i plan on doing anyways maybe like so it, it'll be fine i'll figure it out man i'll figure it out we're gonna get top eight what no matter what it takes next season no matter how much time effort energy whatever it takes we're gonna get there and try my goddamn hardest um but all right enough of the intro let's go ahead and get into some rewards here so i've been waiting a while to make this video we have all kinds of crystals today we have a guaranteed seven star guaranteed seven star today via a seven star basic crystal and then we've got 10 paragon crystals and 11 kindred crystals so with a chance for more seven stars and featured six star champions so this was just my my solo rank rewards here we came in 2762nd and i had a, I had a decent amount of points i had about 600,000 points um and this is pretty low for that amount of points so a lot of people grinded this last season which makes sense it's fine though i don't really care where i, where I placed here the funny thing is though like i said i had about 600,000 points I'd say within that first week of Battlegrounds, I probably put up like 450k. Because <laughs> you guys, I showed you guys where I was at, like 283 points within the first week. That's when I really did my grinding. That's when I got majority of these points. And then I kind of ran out of Elder Marks and just used energy <laughs> from there. But let's go ahead and claim this. 1,007 star shards is nice. That'll give us basically exactly 15,100. Um, so we'll be in a good spot. 86 stones, just random. All right, 10,000 star shards. Cool, let's claim that. All right, let's go ahead and check out where the Alliance placed. So uh we had like four or five guys put up like a million points in the battlegrounds event so massive shout out to them getting us top 25 um which is really great i was hoping maybe for top 10 it was a bit of a <clears throat> um bit of a stretch but uh top 25 is still really solid because we get a t6 uh selector here which i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to take out of there but we do get a nice chunk of tier six and tier three i guess i need to decide because we're claiming it now um man it's so 
these decisions are so difficult right now. I wish I could just hold on to these. Um, you know, bouncing back and forth on, on classes, man. I really, really don't know. You know, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get that science catalyst rounded off. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, I need to think more about that later. But all right, let's go ahead and get those rewards. Nice. And then we get to see where we placed for the season. So like I said, really, really big start. Not as big of a finish. But um, yeah, we ended up placing 19th in Celestial 5. So I believe that's 29th overall. Which, you know, isn't too bad. It's a, it's a like four spots ahead of where I was last season. I think we were 23rd last season. So some improvement there. I just kind of was just chilling towards the end of the season. I, I was at about 600 points. Uh, after <laughs> basically the end of my season, I, I stream sniped Andrew the Rough. He was doing like an eight hour stream, just grinding away. And in that eight hour stream, I sniped him three times. <laughs> I won the first two, took 20 points, both first games. That was 40 point gain, put me well over 600 points. Um, and I stream sniped him again and he won that one. So he took back uh, about like 10 points or something. So I still was up like 30 points uh, just from that. And I was like, you know, this is probably a good spot to just chill for the rest of the season. There's like a day or two left. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to chill. Uh, so I did. And yeah, we still placed great. So 5,007 star shards here. That's huge. Like I said, it's going to get us to our crystal. 3,500 six star relic shards. That's great. We're going to open up a six star relic. Some celestial alloys. Um, some basic alloys. But the really big, big, big ticket item right here is this man 80,000 trophy tokens that's that's what i need i was i was debating pushing the celestial four just for extra trophy tokens but that will suffice oh i didn't claim it well uh, let's just claim it from here yeah there we go okay so we're gonna go spend a little bit of uh trophy tokens because as you can see here before I claimed those rewards, I only had 370. I've been super dry on trophy tokens. So we need to... Uh, first, we need to buy some shuffle signets. That's the most important item in the store. Let's get that. Um, but, uh, yeah, no. Th these are the real most important item in the store. We can grab 10 of each of these stacks. There we go. And then... We'll get... We'll just get uh, 10 of these bad boys and i will get these as well i just like i said i need to really think about what class i want to take and i, I kind of want to open up uh, all the crystals first to see where where we're at before we do that but um yeah let's just go ahead and get started with some some paragon crystals we're gonna we're gonna spin five pop five and see if we got anything in here and then we'll open up some t6 cc yeah, we're gonna be jumping around, opening up all. I'm just gonna be open what I feel, man. Cause like I said, I've been, I've been just itching, just itching like a crack fiend to to do this video, man. I just, I want my next seven star so bad, and I really want to know if I'm going to get six star kindred or not. Uh, Cause if not, we either grind for him or get more crystals. I do have fifteen thousand units. And, you know, my original plan with those units was to wait for the next big piece of endgame content, and like the next Abyss or whatever, next big Everest, and and try to basically stream that the, the moment it drops, stream it until, and don't end that stream until I beat it. So it'd be like a 40 hour stream or something, and just try to be the first person in the world to do it. That was kind of what I was thinking with with these units and what to, to use them on. But I want to get top eight. I want to get top eight and participate in the battle round brawl more than that. Because I think winning the battle round brawl. I mean, qualifying and then winning. That's two very different things. But just, you know, theoretically, winning the battle round brawl, I think, would be more prestigious than being the first person to clear whatever the next endgame content is. Like, if I had to choose one of those things, I would rather win the Battle Round Brawl for sure. So, I feel like it would make more sense to use these units towards that goal. And, I mean, if we want to win the Battle Round Brawl, first we need to qualify. So, maybe use those units to get some new champs. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and pop the last five. And, wow. Not even... And I... 
For once, I didn't call these garbage. I tried to just give them a chance. <sighs> not a, not even a six star. God, those crystals just. I wish they didn't even exist. Like, it just ruins my day when I open them. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's shift to something else. <laughs> Get my mind off that garbage. Open up some sig stones here, and the more sig stones, the better, dude. I, I actually need so many sig stones. Mystic in particular. Ooh, and we're at the most in Mystic. Nice, that rarely ever happens. As you can see, we're at 113 Mystic Sig Stones, but I, I need more than that. Because I want to take Kindred to Sig 200. And Scarlet Witch to Sig 200. So, you know, that's 400 Sig Stones that we're going to need. Or, you know, 398. Well... More like 378, because Scarlet Witch is already sick 20. But you get what I mean. It's a lot of sick stones. Um, all right, so that's good. All right, we also got some of these super Deadpool crystals. Wow, I have six of those already. I don't think I needed that. Oh, God damn it. I just want units. Just give me units. 270 only? These are the new ones. Aren't they supposed to have like seven star sh stuff in them? I feel like that's pretty weak sauce on the units, but all right, whatever, we'll take it. Uh, so there's those kindred crystals. Very excited about those. Okay, here we got 14 five percenters. Let's pop these. We formed a tech, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay, let's keep popping. We're getting hella cosmic. Uh, got a decent amount of skill. Okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's open these big 25 percenters as well. We're going to spin these out because I like to. And we're we definitely want tech. Tech is really good. Nice, yes, bro. Keep giving me that tech. That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, more tech. Um, mutants fine. Uh, Mystics good. Skills all right. More tech though. Okay, we, we we definitely take more tech, man. We definitely take more tech. I, I guess I'm actually really close to being able to take warlock to rank five then some skill that's totally fine too all right um yeah I, I i think i am gonna take warlock to rank five the only thing is i'm gonna be really frustrated if i take warlock to rank five and then i get like a four to five tech gem or something you know because then i could use those tech catalysts on on seven star shuri all right that's that's a good good spread i'm really glad we got the tech there um so those kindred crystals man those kindred crystals i think uh actually let's yeah let's let's do the kindred crystals we're going to spin five pop six here um kind of what similar to what we do with the paragons did not work there i think it will work here though i've the, the, these crystals are are much better um much much better 50 percent higher chance to get a, a seven star out of here um so that that's big and just uh six star kindred that's what i'm really after i saw seton that son of a gun got uh got six star kindred the, uh, that's, that's all i want i don't even want seven star kindred i don't even want a seven star kindred i just want the six star that's it that's all i want um or other seven stars like just from the basic pool you know any anything it's fine if, if i'm getting a seven star you know i'm not complaining Dude, I, I don't get why the 5-star is even in here when, when you get two versions of them for just buying the early access bundle, you know? For the, the regular crystals, when you, you know, they're, they're, they just cost units, sure, the 5-star can be in there. But for the early access bundles, the 5-star should just be excluded from the real. That's just the way it should be, in my opinion. Um, that's, the 5 stars frustrates. And give me one more star on that, dude, please. That, that's what I need. That would save me so much time if I didn't have to do the, the arena. Oh, I shouldn't have converted yet. Alright, let's pop 6, though. Alright, we've got one more to spin. Alright, we'll, we'll let this one spin out because I've been tapping them all and my taps have been garbage. Let's let this one spin, let it ride, and then we'll do the 6 pop. And please, man, 6 star kindred... Some crazy, crazy new 7-star. Give me a 7-star Hulk. That that would be game-changing for me. That would be huge. I would I would really honestly consider taking Hulk to rank 2. Because he's suicide-friendly. He's just a beast for battlegrounds. Man, that would be such a good pull. 
I probably would want him awakened if I was going to rank 2. But, hey, to get a champ awakened, first you need to get them. So, come on, man. Give me something good here. All right, stop it on its own. Big money, big money, big money, big money. I can't even get, a, like, a 6-star. Like, what, what? What is this garbage? All right. I'm going to pop 6 and look away and uh, hope. Anything good? Anything one new? That's just a five star, isn't it? Oh, it's just a five star kindred weird. No, it's a six star. Oh, yes, yes. No freaking. Oh, dude. No, that's the blue border. That's what I needed. That's all I needed. Dude, I. I ha literally had no hope. I, I my hope was all all gone, used up. I really just thought garbage was was on the way, dude. That's exactly what I needed. Let's freaking go, dude. Yes, I don't have to grind now. Oh, that is so good. That, that is so good. That is. Thank you, Kabam G. Thank you, man. Seriously, shout out to you, bro. Thank you, KJ. Man, I just. It's just something told me to like hold on to these crystals for a bit, let them marinate in my account. That's what that's what my boy Yido S used to always say. You know, you get the crystal, but then you hold it for a bit, so the champions marinate in there. You know, like a good steak. And Kindred was marinating, bro. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. And we still have a seven-star crystal. Oh my god. Whatever. Regardless, this opening has already been a banger, dude. Yes, that's so freaking good. The what? Uh, this is the the. Like the third early access bundle, no fourth, fourth, fourth early access bundles that we've bought, bought now. We bought um, Danny Moonstar, Lady D, Silk, and now Kindred. And on the first three, no six star features and no seven stars, just all garbage. And then on this one, the one time where I really want the six star featured, we get him. Yeah, he's perfect, bro. Like I'm telling you guys, it's like the stars are just aligning. For me, for next season for Battlegrounds, like the, the game, the game does want me to succeed. They want me to work for it, but it, it does want to see me succeed. That that's the vibe I'm getting. That's so good, man. That's so freaking good. We can uh, we can go ahead and just do this real quick as well. Just go for a little use item. Awake. I, let me show you guys something cool. So th this is this this item this item right here was absolutely useless to me. Useless. I had absolutely zero use for it. But now, one champion I can use it on. Oh, it's literally perfect. There we go, man. Awakened Kindred. And that's why I didn't want 7-star, because, you know, this guy needs that Awakened ability to really be the OP defender that he is. Um. So, bada-bing, bada-boom. We can also... We're, we're gonna sig him up, man. We're gonna take him to sig 200 for sure. We can chill on that for now. Let's get back to the opening, though. Get a little sidetracked. Uh, that's the good kind of sidetracked, though. All right, <clears throat> let's uh, let's go ahead and open up this six star relic. Or actually, we have a mythic crystal. I'm gonna open that up real quick just to kind of catch my breath after that kindred. I need I need a second. Oh, that's that's crazy, man. That's crazy. It's weird too because I've never done that. I've never just like popped and then like turned my chair around. Uh, but I guess it worked. Maybe I might have to start doing that. Just turn my back on the game and uh, I get what I want. That's a max sig. Uh, that's good at least. My boy Iron Fist. That's a throwback right there. Um, all right. Let me show you guys the six star relics real quick before we uh, we open this one up. So we got si five of them so far. We got Sentinel, Gamora, Storm, and Juggernaut and Winter Soldier. I'm missing the Mr. Sinister relic altogether. So yeah, that'd be cool if we got him. But uh, yeah, I'm not... Man, I'm really not too fussed. Well, I'll take whatever I get. Um, so let's see what we got here. Gambit would be cool. Uh, Awakening the six star jugs relic would also be cool. Uh, I got the five star awakening one of my jugs right now, but I wouldn't mind the six star. And what is that? A six star vision? Um, <clears throat> I, th I think that's all right. I think, is he good on Omega Sentinel or something? Um, let's put this to tech real quick. 
yeah, I had the five star one on my Omega Sentinel, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be really good on Omega Sentinel. And she's going to be in my deck for next season because she's super suicide friendly, has one of the highest base attacks in the game. So, with recoils, um, guaranteed crits, and stupidly high base attacks, she's going to be put out some big numbers. So, that's not a bad pull, I guess. But, well, well, I guess all the DOT stuff is useless next season. But, whatever. Alright, now the 7-star crystal. Okay, hold on. Again, let me show you guys the 7-star roster before we open that up. So, this is what we're working working with right now. Uh, we're at, what, 18 7-stars. And I really like my 7-star roster, actually. I, I, I do like it. I'm a really big fan of it. My, my only gripe with it is I'm dupeless. I don't have a single dupe yet. And there's a couple dupes that I really, really want. So if we could awaken any of my rank twos, which are Mysterio, Bishop, Titania, and Sasquatch, that'd be great. You know, just because they're already ranked two, I'd love for them to be awakened. Shuri, she's going to be one of my rank twos. Would love to get her awakened. Domino, oh, <laughs> not War Machine. Domino, would love to get her awakened. Korg, oh, this be so good. Korg or Killmonger are like number one and two right now. Uh, I start focusing on getting skill catalysts if we could awaken either of them, and then I take them to rank two. Uh, as far as new champs, Mangog would be huge. Hulk would be huge. And uh, Falcon would actually be pretty great because things going to be a bit of a menace next season uh, for Crit Me With Your Best Shot. And uh, Falcon actually... The, 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 the great thing about an undupe 7-star Falcon is, you know, with that Awaken ability, he gets a little bit of extra lock on time, I think. Uh, I think it's like 2 seconds or something. But what it, the, the main thing he gets is uh, Crit Rate. And the higher the sig, the more Crit Rate. But... Uh, you know, with crit me with your best shot, we just intercept and we have guaranteed crits. So Falcon wouldn't be bad. Obviously, that's not what I really want, but you know, it wouldn't be too shabby. Uh, Overseer would be all right as well, but again, a lot of his damage is comes from red numbers, which um, is not going to do anything. Crit me with your best shot. That's really my main goal right now. So I would love a seven star that's going to help with that meta, help achieve top eight. But all right, let's go ahead and just tap this one, and let's see what we're getting as our next seven star. So we're landing on a 7-star Storm Pyramid X. Dude, I think that's actually really, really good. I think she's going to be great for the next meta. She glances. She can have big crits. Dude, that, that's actually really good. I kind of forgot about her. Um, that's, that's actually great, though. Does she need to be awakened? What's the awaken ability here? Well, below 10 to 30% of her maximum health, Storm activates both Tempests. That's it? That's the awakened ability? Hold on. I don't know why I want to check on Aunt May, but I do. Dude, that's a garbage awakened ability. Uh, yeah, that's trash. I mean, I guess it would be okay on Thief. Would, would that be a fact? Let me I, let me know about the signature ability. It's, it kind of sounds trash to me, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. It's a good thing. Cause I, I'm not, I don't have her awakened, so... um. Yeah, I think this is actually really, really good. Um, maybe even rank two-able? I don't know. But let's go ahead, put block penetration. I think I'll definitely throw her in my deck. Uh, and we'll get some crit rate for those big special twos. Because, like, one special two, probably just going to nuke. Um, like, real quick, let, let, let's go take her for a spin. Uh on crit me with your best shot just to kind of see what she's like just jump into shooting stars quest one and uh let's see here another seven star mutant so i think i do i who am i missing now sunspot yeah i'm missing sunspot all right let, let's 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 check her out though seven star <clears throat> rank one level one class advantage does she have a pre-fight she does uh, I have no idea what to use here. Um, I don't know. What happens if I don't use one? I don't know. <laughs> Let's jump in here. I, I think what Storm came out with, uh, with, with Sorcerer Supreme. So I, I was definitely on the, the Sorcerer Supreme train, not really on the Storm train. I never really played her. Um, Taking combos here. Okay, there we go. 
Or we can just throw this. We already got the crit. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, uh, as you guys can see, the DOT does nothing. But, um, yeah. Uh, I think she'll be pretty good for that meta. She's definitely going to make the deck. Dude, this is a fire pull, man. It's a fire pull. Uh, yeah. That that was like an unexpected banger. Dude, this opening is so good. I'm, I'm, oh, wow. We got a brand new 7 star that I didn't even think of that will be very useful next season in the Crypt Me meta. And the best part, we pulled Kindred as a 6 star, so we don't need to grind. Oh, man. Man. Fantastic, bro. Absolutely fantastic. I uh, haven't even played this guy yet, so I, I should probably do that. We're going to have to make a video ranking him up and taking him for a spin. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this opening. This couldn't have gone better, dude. Honestly, I don't think it really could have gone much better. Unless we got like a 7 star from those initial Paragon Crystals. But I was, I was so mad when I opened those. Didn't even get a 6 star. But now, oh my god, bro, I'm so happy. This, this one is so good, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. I can't stop smiling. I would really appreciate a like rating. Share this video with your alliance mates. Subscribe if you want to see more content. We are going to be going super hard next season on the content grind to get top eight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Peace out.